Entertainment Schmig. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motors. Congrats to Minions, second biggest opening for an animated film ever. Saw it. Not impressed, guys, and I, I feel sorry for saying that, but not Why near. are you leaning way to the left here? In this, I, oh. I was putting some audio in. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> but I I wanted to so like this film, but it's not nearly as good as the, the Despicable Me's. One and two, it's just not. You feel like minions are better as like a... Um, a side character, yes. Yeah, not as the feature. Well, $115 million can't be wrong. Number one film in America. By the way, the best animated uh opening ever shrek the third that makes sense sequels i thought my interview to get a job here was a pretty good animated opening hello <laughs> hello st louis <laughs> rob, <Like that. laughs> rob thomas was supposed to be in town this wednesday at the peabody opera house but uh, scary he's had to postpone his tour his wife marisol uh, needs brain surgery to remove a possible lesion from the base of her brain. Yeah, she's had a lot of illnesses, hasn't she? She, she has, has another disease, like an autoimmune disease yeah. that she battles. And, you know, some days she feels better than than others. And so, yeah, we wish her a speedy recovery. I'd this. feel weird if he, you know, did the concert. I mean, come on. Yeah, really. Cosby Show. This is going to make you feel weird. Somebody went back and found a scene from season seven. Uh, Cosby's daughters, or sorry, uh, Dr. Huxtable's daughters, are having problems with their men. But by the end of the show, everyone's in love again, thanks to Heathcliff's barbecue sauce. Your barbecue sauce. My barbecue sauce. Haven't you ever noticed after people have some of my barbecue sauce? After a while, when it kicks in, they get all huggy-buggy. Oh, stop. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Haven't you ever noticed that after one of my barbecues and they have the sauce, people want to get right home? <laughs> Let me tell you something else. I got a cup of it up on the night table. And I... Oh, so that's what it was. Willies. It was barbecue sauce. <laughs> Don't baste it. Maul it. Ooh. Maul's not happy about being associated <laughs> no, with Maul. Not. No, I know. that's. I, I apologize to Maul's folks. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why don't you just take a breather? <laughs> <laughs> Sit on back. <laughs> take an animated breather. <laughs> By the way, Bill Cosby's wife, Camille, did you see her comments in the I, New York yes. Post? I didn't see them. I, I saw did. the headline, but I didn't click. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. Uh, she believes that all of the women who, who she says that all of the women knowingly took drugs and had consensual relations with her husband. Wow. So she's so condoning she's it? Or, yeah, yeah, right. The cheating. Yeah, yeah, he's cheated on her a million times, but a source employed by the Cosby family said this, by the way. This wasn't like a direct comment on the record to the New York Post, but come on. Come on, Camille. All right, now on to Gwyneth Paltrow. You know, she does everything we do just better, like yawning. And if you go to her website, goop.com, <laughs> she's offering up tips on how to yawn because, Courtney, you know when you had that job interview and you couldn't help but yawn? Yes, it was a weird little Every- nervous thing. How did you yawn during the interview? Well, if he looked down at my... Resume. Uh-huh. I would do the say. Okay, you're the you're the guy. Yes. Look down. Okay. Okay. Wait. No, you're talking to me first. Uh, well, it, it would be great to have you at this company, but I want to check a few things here. Um, I'm gonna have to watch this later on because I missed it. I was looking down at her resume. You well, had no idea. Right. Listen, it's important not to repress a yawn, Courtney, because it's a reflex for stress release. So here's what you do. Let's have you. Demonstrate this. No, have Guy do it. She learned this from her yoga instructor. Okay. Gently tilt your head back to a comfortable position and allow your mouth to hang open widely while you gently extend into it. Into your mouth? <laughs> you gently extend into the tilt yawn. Tilt your head back. Yeah. And you open your mouth. Okay. Okay. Contract the back of the throat. Breathe okay. deeply through your mouth so you can feel the air hit the back of your throat. Oh, shut up. All right, go ahead. 
Inhale and exhale completely while allowing your shoulders to relax as you exhale. And when the yawn comes, reach and extend into it, riding the yawn to stretch the jaw muscles. Riding the yawn. That's yeah. that's my new uh, Twitter handle. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison Ford. No one's yawning about this. He was at Comic-Con on the Star Wars panel. My husband is, like, giddy about this because they released a new four-minute behind-the-scenes trailer Mm. on Star Wars, and another one of his friends posted that he's getting goosebumps every time he watches it, and grown men are, like, tearing up because they're so excited. And Harrison Ford... Just as excited. He said, returning back for Star Wars 7, it should have felt ridiculous. Here, I was doing something that I did so long ago, but I can tell you that it felt great. The company was the right company. The director was the right director. There's a wonderful story, and I'm proud and grateful to once again be involved. And he's usually crabby. Yeah, no kidding. Crabby man. That's why he was frozen in carbonite. (laughs) (laughs) Because he wasn't sure he wanted to come back for Star Wars. He was, like, so unhappy. Right? Yeah. Well, if he unfreezes, we can teach him how to yawn. (laughs) (laughs) That's entertainment, Jamig. More at 840 and online at y98.com. Experience the luxury of...